Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install Zorin OS on your device, probably um, PC device. Um, the installation is uh, really easy, it's just to need, you need to Google Zorin in Google Drive and then go, go to zorin.com and you will see diff different options. And I, I, for this kind of a purpose I just have a laptop and I want to try free version because I'm just looking around and so it has all the features I mean it's not it's not like support anything like you will not get any support but whatever uh, you can you know enter the uh, the mail but I just uh, skip to download so I'm because I'm just looking I will not install this on my machine but um, I'm, I'm gonna use it as a uh, as a preview version. So um, the next thing is, is to Rufus, which is uh, like uh, installation software. I'm gonna download the portable version. And yeah, it's kind of a simple thing to just make a bootable drive. So you need to USB flash before like doing anything like with your USB drive. Uh, make sure you have a backup your data on this drive because it's definitely will remove. So open up uh, the dri uh, Rufus dri drive property, select your drive. In my case, it's no label, which is E64 gigs of uh, data uh, and it's uh, empty. And then select your Zorin OS, which is uh, I iOS. Um, file which is uh, from the the ser the server where I just we we just download it and just press start uh, make sure you have like uh, back up all your data from this flash card or USB drive and make sure you have uh, right you select the right partition uh, um, scheme uh, targets uh, system yeah and make sure if everything is right and then press yes in my case, um, I have like no data. Uh, it's fully empty in my, you know, in my case. So I'm um, well. Yeah, I just uh, I just remove everything and then install uh, install some data from from Zorin OS. And you can see it's uh, around three gigs, I guess. So you have to have like sixteen gigs around around sixteen gigs on your flash drive. But I have like 64, which is like, um, which is enough, you know. Most of the time, if you have like 64 gigs of RAM, uh, free space on your uh, USB drive, it's uh, totally fine. So, uh, yeah, um, you can uh, stop the video, see what's uh, um, what's in uh, what's the settings in the Rufus, so you can copy basically the same thing. Yeah, and you can check the USB drive, which is Zorin OS. In my case, it's a, um, in my case, it's a just folders. Well, you can see the folder structure. You can uh, check your own version because most likely you will have. So next step is just restart your computer and um, boot from this USB drive, not from local drive. I mean, like you have like a, a local EFIs, so you you don't need to load from those. You need to have like proper um, USB drive loading. In my case, I will uh, uh, use boot uh, configuration and dese deselect inter internal storage, but select USB storage. And make sure you have like uh, security turn off just for some reason if, if, it's, if it stops booting from this uh, USB. Okay, I have USB and then try install, just press try install and we basically try to install but it's like virtual space on uh, your SSD, um, I mean not USD, not SSD but USB drive. If you want to have like install this on your, um, your SSD, it's uh, pretty much the same process but I'm not going like to install it because I just want to preview for you like for your purposes, for you to see how the Zorin is look like because it's yeah it's kind of a Linux system it's cool 
and you see this is a uh, this is only one option if you need to try or install in my case I'm gonna try but if you want to install it just press install and you will definitely get uh, installation right because it's it's really simple if uh, you pretty much uh, install it it's just easy okay I'm gonna try it and you will see how you like it or not and first thing I've test the brightness and you see the camera is just uh, adjust adjust the light and but the microphone speakers and um, brightness is working I'm gonna test uh, the overall um, you know like experience in Windows uh, open up some windows like documents downloads home whatever start so you can see uh, everything is is clearly uh, you know working quick and try the, the browser which is the default one um yeah I need the internet um and we're gonna try I guess yeah we're gonna try connect to the Wi-Fi and let's see in my case it's a Surface Pro and it does recognize uh, the Wi-Fi so um, yeah well you don't need any uh, USB dongles to use Wi-Fi. Yeah, and it does work. It, yeah, it's a great thing because not every single OS supports the Wi-Fi built-in in, in uh, Surface Pro. And I, as you can see, right now I don't have any touch screen because uh, I need to install uh, first on uh, my my internal storage, not USB, because I'm not uh, using like definitely. I'm not using um, my computer as install on this OS. I'm just trying. Okay. Um. Yeah. You see the YouTube videos working, like music uh, just playing, because I mute them because uh, I don't have like any problem with rights, so you don't hear any music right now. But it work. It works great. Try to store. Um, then see what the software software catalog is there um, and yeah the, it, it works really great I didn't see any lags like everything is kind of a clear and, and nicely designed so um, works quickly uh, I don't have like any photos but I maybe download the photos later so you can see it because uh, yeah I don't have right now because it's just a pure uh, test uh, of this OS and try something like find picture or something um, I'm not sure but there are any pictures and see what's how it works on this OS so I don't have because I don't have like anything and just find find oh I, I use some random pictures uh, and try to see how it uh, works because uh, sometimes even even this kind of a simple uh, thing uh, on a on Linux system systems does don't work properly so I just want to try okay I just close this kind of uh, window YouTube window and, and try different apps as you can see it's a lot of them um, I'm really surprised because I didn't believe there's so many apps, even like Blender, which is like a 3D app I'm using here because I'm a 3D guy, I'm a 3D developer and a 3D guy as well. So I'm, I'm going to try it, I'm going to install it and see what, what's going on with the app. And uh, yeah, this is my picture and it works, it's, it, it does not crash anything, like, the, uh, um, yeah, it's not super purpose of install but uh, uh, anyway it's not crashed in my computer and it, it does work and I try the calculator and I'm gonna see how it works and you see UI is definitely clear and I kinda like it simple yeah everything is kinda working fine and you see alt tab is purely like in Mac and Windows working and I, and I have to say all the gestures are working great here um, well I'm using like my few fingers to just uh, swipe those windows and you can see it's uh, like basically multiple windows and it's great it's the same thing in Mac OS but in different design or windows and try to create a document to see how it works I mean like 
maybe some uh, someone who wants to work with the documents like they like spread sheets like uh, documents it's all like free it's all um, basically the free software it's not like uh, word excel or um, spreadsheet whatever you whatever you use and so this is uh, yeah this is a simple thing but uh, it can be done and definitely and you see I'm like switching apps between the different open apps like I tap on my keyboard for quick access I'm sure there's a touch screen but uh, as I said I'm not install this on my uh, my hard drive which is SSD drive uh, and I don't want to check it so because I don't have like reason for installing it I have already Mac OS and Windows um, yeah and you see this is all like clean UI uh, uh, quick response everything like uh, accessible here if you want to format your format any of your drives like uh, um, mount your drive uh, or remove your drives this is my uh, local drive we just have like Windows Mac and mm, some of the the EOFI uh, space for boot my device boot my systems and uh, yeah you can see it uh, definitely works fine and I kind of like the structure of and menus and like um, you can see different apps you can use them because um, they free this is all basically free so um, yeah and this is calendar maybe someone wondering what is the calendar uh, and yeah it works fine I've checked it because uh, it's it's not baggy it's it, it's not crashing it's like working uh, definitely well on this device um, I have to say work really quickly uh, if you need to do some sort of work work process or maybe even high attacks like blender as example we gonna see it uh, and yeah blender is one of the free software available you can do uh, pretty much anything like in graphics like develop games using blender for modeling software i'm using it and um, because i'm 3d guy so yeah and as you can see uh it boots and it works i mean like on my machine not like uh, not super heavy and yeah it's tablet for this purpose but you can definitely run blender i'm not sure like heavy scenes like render thousand and millions uh, poly polygons or like triangles and maybe uh, something else but definitely you can do some unwrap uh, texturing sculpting you know like basic basic uh, body modeling stuff and yes as i said it uh, works quick maybe same like maybe it's because of the blender i didn't try like every app because it's a thousand of a thousand of them and just a lot of apps so you can try them on your own if you want um, and it's, it's definitely an easy way to install it because they have this uh, catalog or store like app store windows store but the zorin store you can install it any app from there old app apps like recorder I can try record uh, so I will record my voice and it does work so my microphone is being recognized so it's working fine and whether if you need if you need this app so you definitely find some useful apps uh, from the pre-installed version or from the App Store, which is uh, which is actually uh, different uh, Linux apps, and yeah, you can modify or remove them. You can basically do anything like if you want. I've tried also videos, but uh, as you see, they um, kind of not works because I need to install some sort of a, maybe a code video codec or whatever, or I just. I just don't know but I'm sure if I will install it on my SSD the videos will work I mean it's a default video player I'm sure if I download something like something more robust so I, I'm sure it will work 
and definitely I can check and I, I hear some voice I mean uh, some sound and music on the video but video does not work I mean it's, I'm, I'm sure it's fix fixable so don't worry about it. and you can see this is a list of uh, apps I have installed on this system you can remove them if you need if you don't need them and yes all of these kind of uh, um, easy to mm, adjust as you see I can make a screenshot uh, adjust it and I basically need to record the video from the screen itself I mean like not using camera but sorry for this I well I didn't know how to properly record so I do it basically the way I did before um, but I try to improve my camera so you can see it's like shaky a bit um, yeah but I definitely will improve it and uh, like found, finder is easy like adjust or any settings Bluetooth is working it's great because my my device is Surface Pro 6 does not like support on uh, on Mac Mac OS uh, my Bluetooth which is sad but you you can see here it works and works you know probably it works great so if you need the uh, Windows and Linux you can have like both both versions of this system and they work fine um, browser work fine like I, I don't have any lags like I want to try like 4k video or try to run 4k video and see how it works I'm sure it does work but you know I want to try it and see maybe it does not support but you know most of the time I try it but uh, yeah on different system they work here because I have like i7 processor um yeah I want to change this uh, 4k and we will see yeah it does work it does work and picture quality is uh, really great I mean like it depends on the system but uh, in my case eh, it's fine again if you want to play video 4k video here it's totally possible I'm not sure you're gonna watch like 4k video here maybe just for travel purposes but whatever I'm not use it so um, this is a whole uh, like preview of uh, this uh, Zorin OS I hope you like it and um, there is definitely some great features still you can see um, you can adjust basically every everything brightness uh, microphones like basically speakers everything that you want and it's stable it works great on mul multiple screens it's not like marrying screens it works definitely great if you have like uh, external monitors here here and there so it does work great um, you can definitely change everything which you like install apps like even 3d apps from the store it has uh, some apps in the store I guess it does support touch screen but as I said I'm not install this on my machine I'm just want to show you how to use how to print like preview version and because I have like really Mac OS and Windows and I want to just make a preview for you because you don't need to do this again so hope you like it hope you like this video um, this is my Surface Pro 6 tablet I hope you enjoy this video uh, stay tuned support Ukraine support the piece and if you want to support me um, underneath this video there is paypal so stay tuned thank you for watching this video